Good manners will open doors that the best education cannot. That's according to Supreme Court Justice Clarice Thompson. In a culture where many people seemingly have no time for courtesy, minding your manners when others have forgotten theirs can get you a job, a promotion, or a date. Manners make the man or the woman different, distinctive, and memorable. Yet I encounter and hear complaints about these faux pas weekly. Failure to respond on RSVPs, improper introductions, late arrivals to conference calls and meetings, late thank yous on notes, unreturned calls or emails, inattention when people speak to you. So here are a few reminders. Accept or decline all invitations promptly. When you wait longer than a week to reply when RSVPs are requested, the host may wonder whether you're waiting for a better offer to come along. Hosts must plan the menu. They have to pay for food for each attendee, and in some cases, rent serving dishes and furniture for a specific number of guests, whether it's business or social. If the host has to contact you to ask whether you're attending, you've committed a major faux pas. Be prompt to meetings or conference calls. Arriving late communicates to others either of two messages. My time is more valuable than your time or I'm a poor time manager. Neither is a positive message. The longer I've dealt with senior executives, the more apparent the importance they place on punctuality. Another reminder, be present when you show up. By that I mean when you attend an event, turn off all the gadgets and get the spirit of the thing. What host wants to have guests who stand in the corner and hang on their cell phone all evening? Or who wants guests who pop in for 15 minutes only to announce they were late and they're leaving early because they have more important places to be and more important people to see? If you're going to show up, join in. Don't make your attendance sound like an obligatory duty. Another reminder, introduce and include people. If you're involved in a conversation and someone wants to join you, introduce the newcomer to the group and toss out a line or a rope to them to join in the conversation. If you're the person about to join the, the, the group, read the body language to make sure that the other two people aren't involved in a private discussion. And then be prompt with a thank you note or a call. A note that arrives three weeks after the event or after the conference call or after the dinner or a situation looks like my mom made me write this. Another reminder, turn off your background noisemakers. Callers do not want to hear your music makers in the background, the radio, the iPod, your, your iTouch, your iTunes, your selections coming through while they're trying to carry on a conversation with you. And if you have other reminders and comments on these, Add it in the comments box below.